In a quiet village just outside Najaf, Thayer Abdul Karim and his family welcome me into their home. Like most people here, they live a pretty ordinary life. And yet Thayer has an extraordinary tale to tell. This is a man who survived a massacre. <laughs> As Islamic State militants made their first push across Iraq, they overran Camp Spica, an Iraqi army base. Thayer was one of hundreds of soldiers captured by the Islamic State. It was the moment the world realized just what this group was capable of. They systematically filmed the atrocities they would unleash, documenting their own war crime and an act of propaganda. Thayer Abdul Karim witnessed the horror unfolding that day. This is his first interview. He told me his unit thought they were being escorted to safety by local tribesmen. They were bundled into trucks and now found themselves in the hands of Islamic State militants. These young men would be taken through a brutal and systematic process of torture. He says after beating them all, IS then separated the Sunni soldiers. The majority Shia remained. And they began to realize that one by one, they were being led to their death. By now, Thayer was lying face down in the dirt. At the same moment, a new batch of prisoners were being brought in. When they saw the unfolding scene, they broke loose in panic. Two men running next to him were shot dead. Human rights groups believe 700 people were killed that day, many buried in mass graves. Thayer is just one of the very few who got to see his family again. But during the day, he is plagued with the memories of his friends being killed. At night, while he's asleep, sometimes the terror is so strong, his family cannot wake him. <laughs> But so many families have sons who have not returned, and they are demanding the truth about how they were killed. They want to know why commanding officers seemingly abandoned these young men. When the parents met officials, there were angry scenes in Parliament. One mother threw her veil off in disgust. And not everyone wanted to hear Thayer's story either. When he gave his evidence, he says he received threats, warning him not to mention the army's role. Thayer hopes telling his story of the unforgettable horrors will help piece together exactly what happened at Camp Spica. It is still the worst massacre carried out by Islamic State. 
We still don't know the names of everyone who was murdered that day in June. And the IS militants continue marching on with impunity.